I know this stuff never comes through on a camera very well, but I am super impressed. These lights are so much brighter, it's incredible. It's hard to even tell, but you know, you can see out here, these whole trees are all lit up. I mean, they're a good 100 feet from the house. It lights up this whole backyard. These two lights here are just insane bright. And they're all under 100 watts each. So I need to add more <laughs> to the rest of my house because it looks so offset with how bright it is here. This whole back and side yard is all lit up with these two lights. Today I'm going to open up, review, install, and show you how it works on this LED outdoor light. Now, in this house I have a couple floodlights and they're actually on my side in my backyard. And they're up high on this you know, second story roof line and I have LED light bulbs in them, you know, floodlight bulbs in them, but they don't work very well. You know, they, they do light up some of the space, but I've been interested in upgrading them and you know led has come a long way and so this product here is a completely different you know form factor than a floodlight uh, which has its pros and cons so that's what i'll talk about and open up so this is 11,000 lumens of light which is a lot so like a standard um you know 60 watt replacement bulb would be about 800 so this is uh, a lot of 60 watt light bulbs right um, now total this takes a thousand watts of power to power this LED which you know normally you're, you're seeing these things at like seven and a half or, or ten watts so they're very ener energy efficient this one's going more for how bright can we be but be equivalent power of a um, hundred watt uh, light bulb so let's talk about this one this is non-dimmable but it is outdoor rated um, you know, it goes down to minus 25 um, degrees um, Celsius and up to 40 degrees. Has 120 um, degree beam angle, and um, this is a um, like a a bright white. So I think it's 5,000 um, K for the color. But so the form factor I'm talking about is a panel, and you can see from it it has. Um, you know, the LED diode, diodes in the middle there. And then this is like a cast aluminum. Um, you know, this acts as a heat sink because obviously that's a lot of um, power and they need to cool down. That's, you know, that's kind of any, any light um, devices. Achilles Hill is heat. Um, so that's how it cools down. And then it has this rotating um, mount on the kind of tight right now. But so this is how you have to mount it. So obviously this doesn't just go exactly where a floodlight went. You need to mount this to something um, steady. And then it has a short power cord, about a two foot power cord. And it's just your standard um, three wire, you know, a 110 AC um, for America. It does support uh, 220 volt as well. So it just has a um, you know, neutral, a ground and a power. And you can tie that in to your floodlight. And this is a two pack, so I actually have two of these. So I'll get them both installed and show you the difference on there. But the trick is, I was trying to figure out a clean way to install it where my floodlight goes. You know, one option would be to take the floodlight um, and take that off and turn that into like a an outdoor rated outlet plug, and then just put a plug in on this to plug into it. That was one option I thought of doing. Um, the option I ended up with, at least unless I run into a problem, is instead I'm gonna get, I have these um, these closeouts and they have three of the half inch threaded holes. And so this is kind of what a standard like floodlight um, 
mount looks like and then typically they have you know a floodlight screwed into each side and maybe a plug in the middle so i could probably reuse what i have on there but i figured for five bucks i'll get a new one and this mount so here's a here's like a, a box just for reference so this mounts onto there and then you end up with these three holes and they actually and this comes with two plugs so two of them i can plug in then i need obviously one open to get the wire this wire into it into the box so to do that they actually make um little adapter pieces that are watertight uh, i went to uh home depot today and they didn't actually have the half inch side they had the uh, three quarters and one inch side but they didn't have the size i needed so i'm just going to use um this guy which is designed for um you know conduit to slide over it but instead what i'll do is i'll run this wire through it and then i don't have a, a huge gap that i have to silicone up to seal so that's how i'm going to do it and this is obviously um upside down so you know this is going to be like this so th there's no way for really water to get up inside of that unless we we're pressure washing the house or something so that's how i'm going to seal it up if i um if I had the opportunity, I would get the little waterproof one. It has like a rubber seal that when you uh, tighten the cap, it, uh, it um, you know, kind of surrounds the, um, the cable there and seals it up. But let's go outside and uh, get these guys installed and I'll show you pictures and video out there of um, before and after with these guys turned on. All right, so I told the wife it was gonna take me about 10 minutes to do it, but it's been 10 minutes and I just now got the ladder set up. <laughs> so the ladder's not uh, not perfect because they have the AC units right there where I need the base of the ladder, so it's a little bit tight. But um, you can see that floodlight up there at the top. I think it's original with the house, so from uh, like 1991 or something. So there's also some wasp nests in there, but I didn't see any wasps yet. We'll see. Might be a fun video for you guys in a few minutes when I get uh, attacked, but uh, I'm just going to zip that guy off and then I'm going to um, I'm going to go and take the Allen off of these so I can just mount the bracket itself and then I'll go up and, and mount the light so that way I don't drop the light or anything. But let's, uh, let's head up there and take off the floodlight and put the bracket on.
All right, so that's the first one. The second one is even higher because it's a walkout, uh, walkout basement. But luckily, they were at least smart enough to put it right outside this window. So with it being double hung, I'm just gonna drop the, um, the top of it and then I'll be able to change it out from inside. So let me go ahead and do that and then I'll show you the end product of how bright it is outside in just about an hour or so. It will be uh, dark enough for me to do that. You know, so now I can easily use this whole yard at night without a problem, um, even in the dead of winter. And um, I am, I'm really impressed. So, you know, they say they last about 50,000 hours, um, which is, I guess, fairly common with the LEDs. So I'm hoping they, um, they do well and they last a long time. You know, this is my first time having this brand, but, uh, you know, I've had other LEDs that do seem to some of them have infant mortality, right? Where after a month or two, they die. Now these are just like the inside light bulbs that I use inside the house. Cause I converted all my interior lights to LED. And you know, how, how many light bulbs I have, but like, you know, a hundred or whatever, um, maybe more than that even, um, you know, two or three of them would die um, after the first uh, month or two. But the rest of them I've had for like four years and I haven't had a problem. So. Um, I'm hoping these do well. I'm certainly going to add some more around the house and uh, I have all the links to the um, To these lights and as well as the little components I used um, To attach them to the floodlight area um, Down in the description below so you can click on that and use it and then also obviously stay tuned uh, more videos are coming uh, At least once a week if not more so uh, see you around guys